there is a few more things that I need to say actually about the the book that I'm the magazine that I'm writing. Um, the um, the fire one where you know the Neanderthals believed that the fire would be dangerous and and controlled. You know, I, I'm relating that to being similar to to AI and all the, the modern technology because you know the people are worried that AI you might want to kill everyone and might get hold of nuclear weapons and start deploying things without. You know, I, I don't think that's going to happen because there's going to be cutoffs and stuff. Um, but there is there is one big risk, which is that humans, um, humans are, are a risk. You know, there might be loads of people that want to just try and gain lots of money by, you know, using digital. I'm worried about digital, digital currency because there might be hackers who are very experienced with creating digital currency and they might just be creating false. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't go for digital currency one because i know my higher self wants me to be poor because she wants me to be miserable so that i can create this holy spirit and um and feed negativity into the world um so i wouldn't do it because i feel like my higher self would be leading me down the wrong path um in, in order to not help me um but uh, humans are you know they can be corrupt and if they can gain access to money there, there might be people a lot of people criminals that are, are intelligent you know, wanting to try and cheat the system that might tr try creating digital currency, selling it off as being far more valuable than it actually is. Um, and, and, and yeah, I feel like that that might be a risk. I mean, I don't know if it's happened. Um, if, it, if it's if people have been creating, you know, big bigging up something that doesn't actually exist whilst making it seem more valuable. I mean, technically, something's only worth what people are willing to pay for it. Now, when it comes to digital currency, if, if everyone thinks that something is worth a lot, it becomes more more expensive. Um, but if, however, it t turns out that there's flaws or that it can be recreated or, or you know, and then it suddenly loses its value because it's like, well, you know, it could just be corrupt, you know, it, but technically, you could say the same with paper, you know, the government could just be making printing out more and more paper, um, more and more notes, which actually just makes money less valuable. And because money is less valuable, you know, I've, I've got 50 or 60,000 pounds in the bank, and I'm not spending very much because all I'm doing is lying in bed, I'm enjoying making, I'm not enjoying lying in bed, but I'm enjoying I'm enjoying doing nothing and I feel like there's no point in working. Why? Because if the, the currency, if, if the inflation rate is going to go up 10% each year, um, you know, it's going to be 10% next year, the 10, they're going to try and bring it down to 2%, which is what it should be, but it was 10% last year and it's, it's, it's noticeable, you know, it's noticeable when you buy things. Um, and, and because of, because it went up so much, it makes me feel like I shouldn't work because I've got enough money to keep me going for 10 years. Therefore, or maybe less, maybe maybe seven years. I mean, technically, I'm I'm pretty certain that the world that there's a huge number of people who believe that I'm Christ, that I'm about to get um, a huge nice house somewhere, and and um, and and therefore and be taken care of for the rest of my life. You know, so I, I don't feel like I need to earn. Um, but say I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait. You know, I, I'm hoping it's going to happen this year, but I've been hoping that for the last ten years and nothing has happened. I feel like my whole life is now a write off and I just want to just accept that nothing good is going to happen in my life. And I'm happy to accept that just because I feel better when I accept that and, and stop just expecting something to happen because nothing good ever seems to happen. But anyway, let's go back to the topic, which is that if I wasn't you know, going, that wasn't going to happen. And if, if the plan is for me to just literally just be alone and have to do massage for the rest of my life, you know, I feel like there's no point in working because anything that I make now is not going to be spent for another seven years. Now, if, if, if inflation is so high, anything that I make now is going to be worthless in the future. You know, if it's 10% each year, if the, if, if the value of money devalues 10% each year, then any money that I earn now, I'm not making, you know, 50 pounds an hour, I'm, oh, I'm going to be making 10 pounds an hour, because and, and the same could be said with with people in government, you know, if you're making 200,000 now, and you've already got a million pounds in the bank, just doing nothing, you know, in in however long it takes you to spend that million pounds, which is, could be a lot or little, depending on what you what you what you're going to do with it, you know, um, but when you come to spend the extra money that you're making now, if it's if the inflation is just going to be so high, anything you make now is going to be worth a fraction of what it's what it's worth when it's when you spend it. You know, I, I have been working for 10 years and, and I I bought a quarter of my sister's flat, a quarter of my sister's house. So I, I spent a big bulk on that. Um, 
but yeah, if 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 all you if if you don't actually have anything to do with money, and you just want to just spend it here and there, and you're not gonna and you're gonna take a long time to spend it, you know, it's gonna be worth so much less. It, it's it's best to invest in in properties and stuff. The problem with properties is that they are hard to run. They are a big big ask and a big challenge, you know, um, because you know you've got all these horrible laws that say that you know tenants have rights and that if they to choose not to pay one month you know there's very little that you can do to force them to pay um, and there's very little you can do to force them out if they've been there for for a year or so you know it's this horrible complications and society is you know society is getting worse the, the bottom end of society is getting worse because people don't realize that when the population increases a lot of the people who oh, there's a light there. a lot of the people that are the new people who are being formed are, are going to be far more animalistic because that's what they were in their past lives if they're living their first life as a human you know and and the bigger it 